afternoon and good evening. My name is Sir Meerkat and welcome back to the Moto Meerkat channel. So today we've hit our first big milestone on the channel. Over a thousand of you are now subscribed, which just seems crazy to me. A thousand people, that's a lot of people. So with hitting this milestone on YouTube, I'm very excited to announce that I have a new merchandise store. Now some of you keen-eyed meerkats out there might have seen that it's already been at the top of my channel in the channel links for a couple of weeks now, but this is my official announcement of the store. So to start off, I'm just gonna be selling uh, little items. So I'm doing t-shirts, jumpers, stickers, mugs, socks, all types of different things. If you go onto the website and have a look, and all of them have the Moto Meerkat logo. Now in future, I'm hoping to expand and do some other designs and things, but that's all to come. And if you'd like to uh, support the channel and look sexy as hell while you do it, then make sure you click the link down in the description and go and buy yourself some of that merch. But to link 1,000 subscribers and the merch store together, I'm gonna be doing two separate giveaways, one on my Instagram and one on my Twitter. So for each giveaway, there's going to be a winner and a runner-up. So each winner is going to get a signed Moto Meerkat t-shirt and each runner-up is gonna get a signed Moto Meerkat sticker. So if you do like free stuff, which I think everyone does, let's be honest, make sure you go down into the description, go into my Instagram and Twitter, which as I said, they're gonna be two different giveaways. Make sure you follow all the rules, do everything correctly, and make sure that you're entered into the giveaway to have a chance of winning. And obviously do both, because then you get double chance of winning, so why not? And also, good luck. But without further ado, I asked you all on social media to send me in some questions for a little Q&A video. Uh, and wow, I was amazed at the amount of responses I had. I, I did not quite imagine how many people would respond. So thank you all so much for getting involved with it. If I didn't include your question in this video, I apologize. I included as many as I could without making the video like an hour long. But straight after this video goes out, so it should be 6 p.m., I believe at around 6.30, possibly 7, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna be doing a live stream on this YouTube channel itself. So if you're watching in the premiere or quite close after it's been uploaded, make sure you click on my channel down below and see if I'm live. And if I'm live, then come and join in, have a bit of fun. That is where I'm going to be answering the rest of the questions that were not included in this video. But yeah, let's begin with the Q&A. At WillCosis009 on Instagram and at DJN200778 on Twitter, both ask, why are you called Moto Meerkat? So it's a very good question. To be honest, it was pretty random. I, I didn't really think it through a lot. I didn't really mean anything to me. Uh, I was originally gonna call the channel Moto Mongoose. I know, it seems weird to say it now. Uh, I know I did, I just thought it was quite funny. And mongoose are very, very cute. But I just thought, mm, not many people are gonna know what a mongoose is, for starters, or how to spell it. So I thought, we'll change it to Meerkat, it might be a bit easier. Uh, and no, I really like the name, to be fair. I think Moto Meerkat really works, and people seem to like it. So yeah, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's stick. At GaryAbbott1996 on Instagram asks, how old were you when you got into Formula One? Why did it happen, and who was your first favorite driver? So I began watching Formula One from literally since before I can remember, like so young. My dad's always been into racing and he's been actually been racing cars himself since before I was born. So I don't really know any different. So I grew up around cars and around motor racing in that sort of bubble anyway. And th the first sort of things I remember was watching it on the huge box of a TV that we had in the living room at the time. Uh, I'm watching when it was in the sort of era where Michael Schumacher was dominating. I was about like four to six years old. So I remember I absolutely loved Michael Schumacher at the time because obviously he was winning all the time. But from about the age of eight, I, I don't know, I just didn't really, it didn't really click with me motor racing. Obviously I still really enjoyed motor racing games and doing racing stuff online and things like that. But I never really was properly into it like my dad and my brother were. So I felt a little bit left out in my family for a little bit. But it was around when I started driving for myself, I started getting more into covering like Formula One and other motorsports and really getting in depth with them. And that's when it really clicked in my head of like, right, okay, I actually really enjoyed doing the driving myself because I was able to take my dad's race car out on track a few times. Super enjoyable that was. 
Uh, and yeah, it just got me really into it. And suddenly I caught the bug and it wasn't going away. So I've grouped these next two questions together. So it's sort of like a, like a double header because they were quite similar. But at Triple Crown Racing on Instagram asks, what channels did you take inspiration from when you started on YouTube? So when I first started making YouTube videos, I would have been around 13. Uh, I was really, really into it from about 11 years old. And watching other people doing it, I was like, wow, I, I really want to do this myself. Obviously, the, all these videos were on a different channel. Uh, and when I was 15, I went through and deleted everything. I completely deleted all the channels. Uh, because I found it so cringe at the time and people obviously were taking the piss out of me <laughs> for it at school So I, I wish I hadn't now because that'd be fantastic for content to react to and just just joke about but mm, It's whatever, but there are still some old videos of me out there So if you'd like me to do sort of a reaction type video of looking at old videos I'd definitely be up for doing that. So let me know down in the comments if you would like that But yeah, what, what really inspired me was the, the typical vloggers like Thatcher Joe, Zoella, Alfie Days, all of that lot. That's why I was really into it in like my early, early teens. But obviously, I've been watching YouTube for so long now, like almost 10 years. All the content I like has sort of shifted and moved as, as I've grown and matured as a person. So what I like now is a very, very, very different to what I liked back then. Following on, at Bo Sullivan 43 on Instagram asks, what inspired you to start making motorsport videos and why in particular do you like Formula One more? So I've been wanting to combine my love for motorsport and my love for YouTube for quite a while. I was thinking about it sort of end of 2019, thinking, okay, I do actually want to do a, a channel to do with motorsport at some point in the near future. But I was milling around, being like, oh, should I, shan't I? I'm not sure I can like compete. There were already so many good people out there, like WTF1, Chamber, F1 Word, just to name a few. I was watching all these guys, and I was like, I know I can make decent content. Mm, yeah, why not? I'll give it a go. So in January, New Year's, I was like, right, screw this. We're gonna give it a go. We'll start planning out the channel, and we'll see what happens. So yeah, as I said, in January, I was sort of just planning, building the channel seeing what was going to happen, and then in February, I finally started uploading videos. And Formula One's my favourite, just because like it's the pinnacle of motorsport, it's the best of the best of the best. Like, the best you can get, even if the racing isn't the best, it's all of, well, should be all of the best races in the world. I've said best quite a few times, haven't I? But yeah, just the general culture around Formula One just really sucks you in, and once you're in there with all these other people who love it so much, it's just a bit of an echo chamber of Formula One and you just get more and more and more enticed in it and it's just brilliant, I love it. At Ido42069, rate that as a handle, on Twitter asks, do you play racing games? If so, do you have a steering wheel and pedals? Which ones? So I've been thinking of making a review of my sim that's just, just down here at the moment. I'll put some B-roll footage of what it actually looks like in, 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 in post. But uh, yeah, I was thinking of making a video talking about it, but I thought I can't really make a full video out of this, it's actually like engaging content, because firstly I don't really know enough about it, and secondly I'm not interested enough to be like properly going for it. I use a Logitech G27, I finally got that out after a few takes, uh, yeah so I use that for the wheels and the pedals, which are a bit old but they still work very very nicely. My brother when he used to use the sim put in a, a different brake, so now it's much harder to press than the throttle and the clutch. So this is all built in with an R seat, so off rseat.net, not sponsored or anything, but they're extremely comfortable seats and I highly rate it. And that's linked up with a Samsung TV on an RS Stand S. At L Raptos on Twitter asks, do you watch any other forms of motorsport? And at Triple Crown Racing on Instagram asks, do you watch any motorsport other than Formula One? So similar sort of questions, so I'll answer them together. Uh, I'll occasionally watch other races in the Formula One. Obviously, Formula One is is my is my sport. So that's the one I properly, properly, properly follow. So I can sit down and watch any other type of racing and have an enjoyable time. Obviously, I watch Formula Two and Formula Three when they're in the same weekend as Formula One, just to watch all these drivers growing and progressing. But I've been trying to watch more. British Touring Car Championship in the UK, some IndyCar from America and some Super Formula from Japan. Obviously, I was thinking this year, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knuckle down, I'm gonna watch some more of these and I'm gonna get properly into it. But now with all this quarantine business, that's all been thrown up in the air, so I'm gonna have to wait even longer. But yeah, I'm hoping to get into more series in the future. If, the, if you think there's one that you really enjoy that you think I should be watching more of, let me know down in the comments below. So I was quite surprised. I've got a lot of questions about my karting videos. I was very surprised about that because they don't get a huge amount of views, but I think the people who actually watch them really, really like them, so I'm glad you enjoy those. But I have lots more kart races on my archives on my computer of old kart races, some that are really, really good. 
so if you'd like to see that, I can do some edits and make some commentary over those. If you'd like to see them, let me know down in the comments below. So three people basically asked the same question. At Sports and Road Cards on Instagram ask, how many years have you done karting? At Triple Crown Racing on Instagram ask, when did you start karting? And at HarryF87 on Instagram ask, when did you start karting? So I used to go karting every sort of holiday from school. So I'm sure all of you, in the UK at least, would have heard of a company called Team Sport. So I used to go to the Team Sport that was near me every holiday and they do this special day where you get to do practice, qualifying, heat races and final races. And it was brilliant for the price that it was. So I used to have so much fun doing that. I've got a few trophies on the windowsill that I'll, I'll pop in and post as well. But I did that from about the age of 13 to around 15. And then I, I didn't really do much after that. I, I sort of stopped with all my motor racing activities. But once I got to university, I was like, right, I want to get back into motor racing here. I'm enjoying Formula One a lot more. So I at least want some mates to enjoy that with. So I decided to join the motorsport club. So if you're going to uni uh, or thinking of doing uni, I would highly recommend to see, one, see if you've got a motorsport club you can join, or two, just join any bloody clubs you want, because you'll meet so many new people and have so much fun. But yeah, I joined this motorsport club, got super back into karting, and started doing the BUKC under Club 100 again, and honestly, some of the most fun I've had in my life. So continuing on with this karting topic, at FanaticsF1, hello Mike mate, uh, on Twitter, he went in with a ch cheeky triple header question. Very cheeky of you there, Mike. What do you enjoy most about karting? What's been your favorite race and who is your karting rival? So I love, as I said, I race in BUKC under Club 100. I love racing the Club 100 karts. They are so much fun. They're so fast compared to any kart I've done before that. And just the adrenaline you get from the pace you're going is, is awesome. And karting is just the best because it's such pure racing, especially in the Club 100 I do. We're all in identical karts provided by other people. It's not all anal of I'm going to change this little bit on my kart to go a tenth faster. Like we're all in the same thing. We just turn up and have a laugh. My favourite race was definitely, I did a race at a local track to myself with a guy I know from Uni Motorsports and lots of his friends from iRacing. He's quite a, high, a, a top end iRacer on Formula 3. I'm going to sound like such a noob. I don't know nearly enough about it. But yeah, I went down with him and some of his mates to do some karting and I've got the footage from that race and it's a brilliant race with some fantastic karting in it. So if, again, if you'd like me to do a commentary over that, let me know in the comments. And I wouldn't really say I'm a karting rival. Really, what about BUKC? Anyone that's in front of me is my rival. I'm just going to go and get past them. So that's it for the longer sort of questions. I've got some more quick fire ones. Some of them are a little bit longer, but we'll try and fire through these. So at Formula One Memes for Life on Instagram asks, how old are you? I'm 20 years old. At WRS Russell on Instagram asks, Senna, Schumacher or Hamilton? Do you have a stipulated whether you want me to answer who's best or who's my favorite? So I'll do both. The best out of those three, I would say, is Schumacher. Obviously, he has the most world titles, and he just is, I think, the best out of all of them. And then my favourite out of all of them, I have to say Senna, just for the passion that he had, and the the, the Brazilian fans were just immense when uh, when Senna was around. I just think the whole aura around him as a racer was just incredible. At Ricky Red on Instagram asks, what is your favourite track in the world? Now, I'm going to shorten world to Britain, because... Royal Britannia, that is my country. Um, so my favorite to race on is probably Snetterton, I'd say. Uh, that was really fun, Doing did a few track days of there, and, and that was great. But my favorite to watch is definitely Brands Hatch Indy, just because of the grandstand that's up at the top of the hill uh, at, uh, oh, how do I not know it? Paddock Hill Bend, obviously. The grandstand that's up there, you can see the entire track. It is brilliant. So you don't miss anything in the race. It's just fantastic. There's no other track that has a grandstand like that where you can see the entire track. At Arthur Kizis on Instagram asks, how well do you think you'll perform in the WRL season one? Honestly, I'm just looking to have a bit of fun racing around with some boys, to be fair. Uh, I just happen to be relatively quick, which, which has been okay. And it's something to look forward to during quarantine, which, which is good. But I would love to get a podium uh, at the end of the season, finish in the top three. I think that would be great. But if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I race in a league on Project Cars 2. So I'll leave a link down in the description to... There's a, there's a dude called Rundy who does the live streams for our league and does commentary on them. And I think they're really, really good. So I'll leave the link to his Twitch down in the description. You can watch 
watch all the old streams of the WRL season and there'll be loads, loads, loads more in the future. So make sure you drop him a follow on Twitch. At Sport and Road Cars on Instagram asks, what's the best and worst looking F1 car of 2020? So I'm gonna say that's not to do with deliveries. We're gonna go with how the car looks exactly. I would say the best is the Renault, simply because of the nose shape. Wow, that nose is amazing. The lovely thinness of it and the curl. Oh, buddy, it's so good. And the worst, honestly, there's not one I actively dislike. So I'd probably have, I'd probably go with like the Alfa Romeo. I was between them and the Haas. I don't know, I just find the, the shape of their cars a little bit dull. And the final question to finish off the video, Bo Sullivan 43 on Instagram asks, have you ever considered making a career out of motorsports? So quite easy that one, yes, yes I definitely have. Obviously, being a kid wanting to be a racer, that'd be amazing, being a professional proper racer, but genuinely now, if this YouTube thing doesn't work out, which trust me, I really, really, really want it to, if it doesn't work out, then I'd like to do content, whether video or written stuff, for a journalism company such as motorsport.com or autosport or something like that. Just generally being inside paddocks, interviewing drivers, doing motorsport chats, and all that sort of jazz. But oh my gosh, that was a lot of questions. Again, thank you so much for sending them in. And if yours wasn't included, make sure you go and watch that live stream straight after this video to see me answer it. Also, I want to genuinely say thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. Honestly, a huge dream for me, a huge milestone. I'm gonna push for many, many more thousands in the near future. So yeah, th th this whole YouTube dream of mine is really starting to actually come to fruition and could possibly happen, which is amazing. So again, thank you so much. But if you did enjoy this little Q&A video, please make sure you drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel down below because I upload motorsport related content very regularly. Again, thank you so much for supporting me guys. Share this video with all your friends and I'll see all of you meerkats later. Goodbye guys.